Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the 2023 F-150 XLT versus the Lariat model. Now we recently did a video on this subject, uh, but we're back here for the 2023 model. And we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, sort of showing some of the features on the XLT versus what you get with the Lariat. Now I'm going to introduce both of these trucks here to make this as easy to understand as possible. This truck here is a 2023. XLT. This one has the 302A package, which Ford calls the high package. And now this Lariat also has the high package. Uh, this is called the 502, which is sort of their order codes, uh, which Ford uses to kind of distinguish both of them. But they're both the high package, which we picked these uh, mainly because this is the most popular way to configure both the XLT and the Lariat. Uh, so the high package on both of them. They both also have the sport package, which is also, again, the most popular way uh, that customers configure them, which includes things like the sort of the body colored front bumper, the different grill design, different wheels and that kind of thing. Um, so they both have the sport package and they also both have the same wheels as well. Now that 302A package, that high package here in Canada costs about $6,000. Uh, which is definitely the most popular way, again, to configure these. It kind of turns it from a work truck into a very nicely equipped F-150. Whereas with the Lariat here, the high package costs a little bit less at $4,000, uh, but you don't get quite as many things with that package, though. And with the high package Lariat, you do get the LED adaptive headlights, as well as the Ford Copilot 360 Assist, which is the adaptive cruise control with lane centering and also the intersection assist, evasive steering assist, and a bunch of other safety features. You also get the heated rear seats. You also get the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel with the memory function, rain sensing wipers, and also the heated steering wheel. So the XLT here, we do have the 12 inch SYNC 4 display, which is a standard feature on the Lariat. XLT it comes with that high package. You also get the LED headlights, uh, not quite the LEDs of the Lariat, uh, but you have the LED headlights here. It also includes the trailer tow package, the XTR, which is a chrome appearance package. Um, this one has the sport package, so it kind of replaces that, uh, but that's included with that. You also have the 400 watt inverter outlet, the upgraded taillights, and also the power sliding rear window push button start as well as the 10 way power adjustable driver and passenger seats with the heated function. And we'll take a look at the headlight design of both of these trucks. Uh, they actually are both LEDs, but the Larry does have a much nicer headlight here. This is an adaptive LED headlight, uh, meaning these actually, these bulbs here actually turn in the direction of the steering wheel. So you turn right, the lights will turn right to sort of uh, shine more light in the direction of that you're turning. And it also has an LED turn signal, whereas the XLT over here has the reflector, sort of reflector beam headlight here, and it also has halogen sort of incandescent uh, turn signals. But they still both have the daytime running light design there that goes sort of follows through the headlight and then down into the LED fog light. The hood design is identical on both of these trucks. Uh, now there are different packages that you can get to sort of uh, get a different hood, but for the most part, the hoods are the same. And now we'll take a look at the wheel design here. And as I sort of briefly mentioned at the beginning, we do actually have the exact same wheels here. Now these are offered with the sport package. Uh, these are 20 inch sort of gray painted sort of aluminum wheels and is wrapped in an all terrain tire, 275.60 for both of them on the uh, tire size there. Um, so these are offered with the sport package as an upgrade. And as we move down the side here of both of these, of course we have the Lariat badge here on the Lariat and the XLT badge on the XLT. And one thing you'll kind of notice here is that we do have body colored mirrors on the Lariat and sort of the black plastic on the XLT. Um, you can option in a 360 camera, which is kind of give you a little side view camera here on the side. Uh, we don't have them option on both of them, uh, which is kind of nice. So it's, it's a little more uniform between both of them, um, but black plastic versus the body colored here body color door handles on both, which is nice. And we also do have the black platform running board. Box lengths are the same. You can option in whatever size you want. Uh, Ford is pretty forgiving on the box sizes on either models. This one happens to have the FX4 offered package, whereas the XLT does not. This one just has the sport package. Uh, so you just get the sport badge. Um, but this one has the FX4, which replaces the sport badge on the Lariat. And if we take a look at the rear end design of both of these trucks here, one thing you may notice right off the bat is the taillight design. So the Lariat does use a fully LED taillight, whereas the XLT over here, uh, the only thing that's actually LED is the reverse light, which is something you don't really see that often, um, but it uses just sort of an incandescent uh, halogen bulb, whereas the uh, Lariat here does use a nice LED design. 
Now, one thing that is different with the Lariat is that you can option in the power tailgate, uh, which you can't get with the XLT. Basically means this tailgate has the ability to go up and down power operates. You can use the key or there's also a button inside you can use uh, to go up and down. So it's kind of a little more convenient, of course, because the tailgates have gotten uh, very heavy over the years of all the electronics they have in them. Uh, but they both have the tailgate step here. We'll quickly open up the back of the XLT. Now it is soft opening, which is nice. And the uh, the key also has the ability to drop it, uh, but it does not go back up by itself here. But we do have the tailgate step with the tailgate work surface. Now this Lariat over here does have an aftermarket spray in bed liner by our friends at Linex. Um, of course you can get either drop in or spray in, whatever you prefer here. Now this one does have the power boost hybrid engine. Uh, the power boost is also available with the XLT. Uh, so the engines are very, very much the same. Uh, so we have a little bit of extra plugs here in the back uh, that you don't have in the XLT. Uh, but we also do have LED box lighting, the box link cleat system and a bunch of other tie down points as well. Now we'll quickly talk about the powertrain that's available for both of these F-150s. Now I say quickly, uh, that's because they're basically the same. Uh, you can option in basically any engine that you want. The only exception to this is that the XLT is available with the sort of base 3.3 liter naturally aspirated V6, which, uh, which most of our customers use in sort of like the base model models, like the work truck models. Um, so you can get the base model in the XLT, although it is not very popular. Uh, you can get that with the XLT, which is not available with the Lariat, but they both are available with the hybrid. This one happens to have the hybrid model here. Our, our Lariat does have the hybrid but you can still get the hybrid with the XLT. You can also get the five liter V8 in both of these. You can get all the EcoBoost engines. Uh, so very much same for the powertrain. And now we'll take a look at the interior design of both of these trucks here. We'll start of course with the XLT and then we'll hop into the Larry over there. Now with the sport package, we do have a unique cloth interior, uh, which is a main difference between an XLT versus the Lariat. XLT is used cloth, Lariat uses leather. Now, technically you can get leather in an XLT, which is part of the black appearance package, but 95% of these trucks do have cloth. Uh, so cloth with the XLT, leather with the Lariat. Now these seats here are 10 way power adjustable, driver and passenger, and they're heated. Uh, so heated seats with the XLT. Now you do get cooled seats with the Lariat, which is not available with the XLT at all. Uh, the door panel design here is basically the same. Every, all the, the buttons here are all the same. We do have memory function with the Lariat, uh, which unfortunately you can't get with the XLT. Uh, but we have all of your lighting controls over here, electronic parking brake. Now we do have the exact same key fob on both of these, which includes remote start and also the tailgate release on there. Nice Ford logo on the back and push button start. Now, as we take a look around the interior of this XLT, uh, Ford really did step up their game for the 14th generation F-150. Uh, that is the 2021 and above models. Uh, but we'll start here on the steering wheel. Now for 2023, Ford kind of used a different steering wheel design or sort of material for the uh, for the XLTs. It's a little bit more of a harder material, uh, whereas the XLT has a nice like leather wrap steering wheel. So this one's a little bit harder, uh, but they're basically uh, you know very similar. Cruise control with lane keeping system. Uh, of course, your volume button. Uh, now, big difference is the gauge cluster. So the XLT has sort of the screen in the middle with the two analog gauges on the sides, uh, whereas the Lariat uses a fully digital gauge cluster, uh, which I will show you when we hop into the Lariat there. Uh, so that's a difference, big screen versus the two sort of uh, gauges on the side. Now we do have the exact same screen, uh, sort of the center screen in both of these, which is Ford's SYNC 4 12 inch display. Uh, they both offer wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They also both have navigation. Uh, you can access all your vehicle settings through here. This one happens to have the onboard scales with smart hitch. You have all of your zone lighting controls right there. Uh, of course, we have four wheel drive on both of these locking rear differential. Uh, they also have a dual zone automatic climate control, heated seats again right there. Uh, we also have some USB connectors. Both have 10 speed automatic, which is standard across the entire F-150 lineup. This one happens to have the interior work surface, uh, which does allow you to fold this down and have a little uh, picnic table in your F-150. We do have another 400 watt inverter outlet, like just like the one in the bed. Also have a sort of a dual glove box here as well. And if we take a look at some of the uh, materials that Ford uses, uh, they're not the highest quality. A lot of them is just sort of hard plastics. Uh, but that's kind of what you get here. So the Larry is a much nicer truck. They use nicer materials, uh, but it's sort of just 
plastics. Ford kind of did their best to try to make it look a little bit nicer here, sort of aluminum looking trim here, but of course it is just plastic uh, with the XLTs. And if we take a look at the interior of this F-150 Lariat, again, we do have leather seating, which is uh, standard with the Lariats. Uh, technically, it is optional with the XLTs again, but it requires a pretty special package. Um, so we get nice, beautiful leather seats here with the Lariat. And it also has this sort of maroon accent that you'll see not only on the sort of seat piping, but also on the center console, up on the dash, and also here on the door panel. Nice soft touch leather, just like the XLT. Uh, but again, we do have that sort of nicer material here on the top. There's that memory that I was sort of talking about before, and we do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is standard on the Lariat, optional on the XLT, so kind of, uh, you can get them both, but standard with the uh, Lariat here. We also have our, uh, of course, all of our lighting controls right here, the power tailgate release, and also power adjustable pedals. Now that we're inside of the Lariat, again, exact same key, a remote start, and also that tailgate release on there. Push button start, just like the XLT. And sort of as I was mentioning with the steering wheel, this one is a nice sort of leather, soft touch material uh, versus the XLT. Ford kind of changed it for 2023 just with all the restraints and constrict, uh, constrictions that they have at the factory uh, with all the supply issues. But nice soft touch leather with the Lariat. Now, a big difference between both of these trucks is that this includes the sort of upgraded co-pilot uh, driver assistance package, which uh, includes adaptive cruise control with lane centering. Uh, so this truck basically drives itself. Now it is not the blue cruise system that you would find on the sort of higher end trucks. Uh, you can get that on the Lariats, but this one does not have that, but it's come standard with adaptive cruise control and, uh, and lane centering. Uh, whereas the XLT, it's optional. Here it is standard. Uh, so Ford includes that as a package with the 502A Lariat. I'll give you a look at the fully digital gauge cluster, which again is standard on the Lariat, not available with the XLTs. Again, same screen, 12 inch display here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is used wirelessly. Navigation right there. Now, another thing with the Lariat that we do not get with the XLT is the addition of the four automatic, which is basically a four all, all wheel drive system uh, that Ford uses. It's kind of like a clutch based system that allows you to sort of uh, the system to automatically detect slip and then it kind of powers the front wheels when it needs to. Uh, so it's kind of nice for, for more slippery conditions. Uh, so that's an addition to what you get with the Lariat. Climate control system is the exact same as well, although we do have the addition of the cooled seats right there. Uh, so we have cooled seats with the Lariat model. And if we slide open this cover, give you access to the wireless charger, which is not available with the XLT. Standard wireless charger right there. We also have our USB connectors. And again, your 10 speed automatic, uh, which is across, again, same across the entire F-150 lineup. Same outlet up here. Of course, this one does have the power boost engine, so we do have a sort of different uh, power draw for those outlets, uh, but you can also get that with the XLT. So that's the same. It's dual glove box as well. And this one does happen to have the twin panel moonroof, which is available with the XLTs, although it is a very, a uh, lot more of a rare option just because the Lariats are more expensive trucks. Uh, so we do option those in uh, for a lot of our Lariat models. But if we take a look around the interior, uh, again, we do have some sort of soft touch sort of leather. It's not quite leather, but it's a nice soft touch material, which is finished in that sort of burgundy color up on the dash here. So a little bit more high quality materials that Ford uses. And we do have the sort of Bang & Olufsen tweeter speaker there in the, uh, in the sort of the A pillar. Uh, it's a little bit more of a premium feel, especially with the steering wheel, a lot of more premium feel. And there's that center speaker up there as well. And looking into the back seat here, of course, again, we do have the leather with the Lariat, um, again, with the sort of maroon piping there. Now, we also do have rear heated seats, which is not available with the XLT, uh, but same outlets. We have those USB and the set of another one those household style outlets right here. This one has the ability to lock these seats up, which of course is the same on every single F-150. You can fold the seats up, have a nice flat load surface back here. Uh, we also have some additional storage back here. And we'll take a look into the back seat here of this XLT. Uh, where again, we do have the cloth. Again, technically you can get leather back here, but for the most part, it's a cloth seat. You can fold the seats up just like any other F-150, either it's a Super Cab or the Super Crew. You can lift the seats up here. We also have some additional storage in behind. And we do, of course, have our 400 watt inverter outlet back here, USB and 12 volt. 
keep everything charged up no problem at all but that'll pretty much do it for this video i hope it wasn't too overwhelming i know there's a lot of different ways to configure uh, these trucks hundreds of thousands of ways to do it um, but we try to make it as easy as possible um, if you're interested in getting an f-150 you know we have lots here at mcphee ford or visit your local ford dealer uh, you know build one out the easiest way to do it is to uh, use the ford build and price website it's not super accurate but it's, it gives you a good representation of how you can configure these trucks and the way you'd like it but that'll pretty much do it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.